Good morning. Pull up a chair. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. Let's do the morning devotional by the fireplace today. It's December 24th, 2020. Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas to y'all. Today I thought I'd do the devotional by the fireplace, so pull up a chair and grab yourself a cup of hot coffee somewhere. Outside, it's a slight gentle rain, calling for a winter storm up on the mountain. Don't know how much that'll come to fruition. Depends on the weather, of course. That temperature will drop out of the bottom quick enough. <sighs> Makes this hot cup of coffee and this nice warm fire seem even better this morning. I hope you have a Merry Christmas planned and Lots of blessings will come into your life. For those that are having family come in, cherish those moments. The scripture I bring to you this morning is from John chapter 5. It goes, After this, there was a feast of the Jews. Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Seems like a lot of John starts off like that. So Jesus went to Jerusalem. And there's in Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew term Bethesda, having five porches. And in these lay a multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel goeth down in a certain season into the pool and trouble the water. Whosoever first then steppeth in after the troubling of the water has made whole of whatsoever disease he hath had. Now there was an infant man there, a certain man there, that had been with an infirmity thirty and eight years. Thirty eight years. This dude had laid by the pool waiting for the moving of the water. Jesus saw him lie and knew that a long while had been in this case, and he saith to the man, Wilt thou be made whole? And the empty man said to him, Sir, I have no man after the troubling of the water to take me down into the pool, but while I am come down, another steppeth in before me. Thirty and eight years he'd waited for the troubling of the water, and every time there had been trouble, somebody stepped in before him. Can you imagine? And Jesus said to the man, Take up thy bed and walk. Thou art made whole. And immediately the man was healed and took up his bed and walked. And it was the Sabbath day. First of all, 38 years he waited for the trouble in the water and he was made whole. Immediately he took up his bed. Can you imagine the feeling, the euphoria. Those around him that knew that man, that known he had been there for 38 years, to see Jesus say, take up that bed and walk, thou art made whole. But you know what the Pharisees focused on? It was the Sabbath day. Therefore the Jews, seeing the man that was cured, saith to him, it is the Sabbath day, it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them and said, Him that said, Take up thy bed, and made me whole. Now let me rephrase that. Him that was cured said, Him that saith to me, Take up the bed and walk. And the Jews said to him, What man saith to thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And the man that was healed knew not what it was, but Jesus having conveyed himself away, being a multitude in that place. He didn't stop there. Afterward, Jesus found the man in the temple and said to them, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. Well, I wonder if what the man did next was a sin. But I doubt it, because the Lord knew he would do it. And he parted and told the Jews that it was Jesus that made him whole. 
And therefore the Jews sought to slay him. Therefore the Jews persecuted him and sought to slay him, having done these things on the Sabbath day. Where he cured a man that had been with an infirmity 38 years. And all I could focus on was the law. You know what Jesus did? He said, he answered them and said, Here unto my father worketh, and therefore I worketh. And therefore they sought all the more to kill him, not only because he had broken the Sabbath, but because he also said that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Huh. And Jesus Anson said, Verily I say unto you, a son can do nothing of himself, but whatsoever you see the father doeth, himself doeth, whatsoever you see the father doeth, for those things himself doeth, likewise. For the father loveth the son, and showeth him all things himself doeth. And he showeth him greater things than these, that ye may marvel. He was speaking to the Pharisees still. The father raiseth the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, and committed all judgment unto the Son. That he that honoreth the Son honoreth the Father, and he that honoreth not the Son honoreth not the Father that has sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Jesus said to the Pharisees, he that heareth my words, and believeth in him that sent me, shall not come to condemnation, but pass from death unto life. That little baby that was born in the stable so many years before, was sent from God to be God in the flesh. But all you had to do was believe in him. Merry Christmas, my friends. May you rejoice in the season. Wish you could be here with me, but have a virtual cup of coffee with me this morning and get that turkey ready tomorrow. And I hope you have a blessed Christmas. And as I always like to remind everyone, whatever we give thanks to, thanks be to God. Merry Christmas, my friends. Love you. God bless.